Okay, let's get this carburetor off. Already did the other side, so we're on just a couple of Couple of that away. Okay, so let me show you what what we did to get these carbs off because the throttle on the other side is stuck. I just unhooked these from the, the throttle body with the cable attached. That way, see because this one is seized, it doesn't move. So now I can at least wiggle it up to get it off. I'm gonna have to put you back on the stand. Okay, now I've got some room to be able to just gotta get this guy around so I can get the, the throttle cable off. Okay, now, now I just have to unhook this bit right here so I can pull one carb out on the other side and one on this side. Okay, just have to get to this screw. I wonder if I got anything on the bottom. This is the reason why people don't put these things back on. Because you really don't need it unless you're going hard on the choke. out there we go one's out okay both of them out again this one over here this one is working maybe it wasn't seized that is maybe we freed it up by yanking on that thing oh maybe the cable was seized so we're good we got both of them okay I'm gonna pull off this top motor mount then we're gonna do this bottom one here then it's on to the exhaust, pegs, things like that. And we should be free after that. We'll do the exhaust, front mounts, all that. Maybe I'll pull off all the front. I can't pull off all the mounts until I take off the exhaust. So let's start with this mount and then we'll go from there. Okay. One, two, three, four. This, this, and I like to put my sandwich back together the way it goes, put my nuts and bolts in there so I don't have to worry about it. At least some of you guys can just throw them in a uh, bag and or a, a bucket, throw everything in a bucket and then put it back together after. I, uh, I can't do that. I'm, I'm amazed by the people that can do that, but I'm, uh, I have to do it this way. Let me know down below, which one are you? Are you a uh, throw everything all in the same bucket or you will put it back together? You may be the Ziploc bag and label everything, which that'd be awesome too. What I do is that when I started doing that, I would forget to label it. Okay, we got the, this one off right there. On to the next one. Okay, so we had to, had to cut the clamps off of, uh, separate the header from the mufflers, just because it wasn't gonna come off even if I pulled the pegs off. So let's go ahead and see if we can separate the header from this exhaust. Probably the first time in 60 years. Ugh, it's not gonna want to move. Let me you know, see if I can wallop it. Sometimes you just need a bigger hammer. I bolted it back in right here so I could just smack on the header to get it to come out. Looks like it is working. There we go. There we go. Out. One down, one to go. Get this guy back off. This this muffler is not in too bad a shape. But it, these are the normal weep holes. Here it's in actually really good shape. The other one, not so much. 
I got, I got the other header off, well, most of it. And we'll pull this other muffler off. Like I said, it's in not in that good a shape as, as evidenced by the holes in the bottom. And every time I touch it, more stuff. Look, look at that wasp nest in there, how big that was. That, that was probably holding most of the exhaust together. And when I was having a beat on it, this was falling out. Let me carry this and let me suck up this mess. Yeah, look at this. It is, it is cheesy, Swiss cheesy. Okay, let's finish sucking up the rest of this rust. Okay, so now we've got to pull this cover off, make sure the chain is off the sprocket. It looks as though it is, but we're just going to go ahead and remove it anyway. Just so that's there, we have to disconnect the starter, pull off this front bracket, and then we should be, should be pretty free. We'll check, we may have to disconnect some wires once we get this, but let's go ahead and get this done, pull this off. Should have some wires coming up, uh, probably right in here. So that's power, so, oh. That plastic didn't stick with us anymore. Some of it's kind of crispy. Well, that didn't stay. Maybe right down there. So we'll probably have to disconnect these wires right here. We'll have to do that. And then we should have the engine free. So let's get at these bolts right there. This cover, which is probably going to be the, the one that's going to require the most amount of work. So let's get the impact and a hammer and let's go to work okay let's see if we can get this one yeah hey we're good last one yep one more oh rock on it's gonna be perfect okay so now it's just walloping time at least you can get a little wiggle on it so it'll help okay finally got that side cover off not side cover the uh, peg so I can get the side cover off. I'll get this chain. Let's see if we can get this chain off. We can always use the cutoff wheel if we Come on. Okay. Got that off. Okay. Now it's on to these. Now it's on to these front ones. Let's go ahead and get that off. GoPro, stop recording. Okay. Got a little heater pipe. Oh, that'll make a difference. Okay, let's go ahead and remove this starter wire. Okay, good. Now we can get to that. Now we can get to this lower bolt right down there. I've got these off, so let's go ahead and get. Come on. See if we can get these guys out. Nope. nope, not wanting to come out, so let's smack them. Okay, I'm gonna put the jack underneath it and see if I can jack it up a little bit just to take a little bit of maybe some weight off of these. These guys, they're a little. There we go, it's starting to work.
There we go. And it came off. Okay, come on. They're just so corroded. Look at that. Look at that thing in there. Okay. Lower plates off. Let me put it back together. Okay, so now I can get this guy out. And we should have all the bolts out of the engine. One way to find out. Let's see if, we, if it moves freely up and down. And then we'll clean up my mess. sure I got them all okay good let me get this one out good job good now that should be yeah now the engine's free now let's undo the wires okay let's unplug these wires they should all be color coordinated so it should go back together the same way come on I need them all to come apart Oh, come on. Oh. There, one more. Jeez, I'm beats. Okay, those are all disconnected. Those are there. Those are there. I didn't need to undo those. That's a brake cable. That's all right. But that, and then I got to come up here. It looks like I got a couple of wires. They come right into here that is into this mess right here so let's see what this mess is okay these two green wires look to be the only two wires holding me back and let's see if they unplug in here this is going to be repaired anyway so let's just see what we have and then we get to wrestle the engine out the other thing is we've got a surprise Oh, look, look at this wonderful stuff in here. As I discovered, I was going to drain the oil. I discovered that the oil drain plug is, um, let's just put it this way. It's round. What you talking about? And I don't have the round socket. Um, so it's going to be a little difficult to, look at this thing. This was definitely not safe. That's one, and then we'll undo this one. This is going to be rewired. That's that one. Let's see what else I got in here. This is a mess. All this is going to have to be repaired. Let's see what we got underneath this. We just wrap it in enough duct tape. It can't possibly short out, right? It couldn't possibly short out. Look at this. This has a wire hanging on both of these. So I'm going to snip them. I'm going to snip them right here just so I know that these yellow wires go with this one. And I'm going to snip these same things right here so I know that that goes with that. I'm just going to do that and make, make my life when I'm rebuilding it a little easier. I'll have a game plan. So I'm going to plug that one back in. Let me get the snips so you can see what I did. I just snipped the ends so that I know later when I come back that the two cut green ones go to here. The two cut yellow ones go to here. So I'll be able to fix, fix those and put it back together. Okay, I think we are done with wires. Now it's getting the engine from here to out here. Okay, let's see if we can get this guy out. I got the jack underneath it. Looks like it is going to work. As long as I can leave this horn on. And I'll pull the horn out all the way out. The only bad thing is we were unable to drain it. So it's full of lots of juice. Most definitely be easier going up the other way. 
but like I said before, I don't want to dump it. I'm going to keep as much of the juice inside as possible. Somebody's screaming at the TV right now, telling me the easy way to get it out. It's okay. the other way. is going to come out that's what I'm concerned about but we'll find out move you guys right here let's see oh, this is the way easier side how heavy do you think it is and let's take out the star wire and see in a clip. Let me see if I can oh, disconnect this. Okay. Started pouring out yet. I'd prefer it not to. But I need to get a screwdriver. Sometimes you just got to do what you got to do, right? I mean, I don't know if that's an OSHA approved tool, but it's the one we got and the one we're using. So let me see if I can get this guy off. I forgot to check to see if these guys were. Come on. It's just a piece of bent over metal. It's good though. That should be good enough. Okay. Save it. Now it's out. Free at last, free at last. Oh, let me get it this way. Let's see if I can stand this sucker up. And we did pretty good. We didn't have any juice come out. Come on. Come on, stay up. Right there, be good. Oh, I got some dirt on you. Is that better? Yeah, I still got a smudge on you. Is it right in the middle? So guys, we got it out. It kind of, I don't know what I was worried about. I was concerned I was going to make a big mess by it pouring out, but apparently it didn't pour out, so, which is good. And coming out this way to the left side is the way easier solution. And, and so we'll go in the same way. The good thing about this, there, there is plenty of room for it to, for this engine to be able to go in and out, especially once you pull off the uh, mounting brackets. It's got a lot of room, way more room than say a 350. But now I think the first order of business should be uh, to 
pressure wash this, clean it up really good before we even uh, start taking it apart because it's it's super gross. We should wheel it outside. But that's for another day. We got this engine out. In the next episode, we're gonna go ahead and clean it up and start tearing it down to find out exactly what's wrong with it. And hopefully we can get the, hopefully we can get it apart. It's still seized. Hope we'll just need a hammer, piece of two by four, and just wallop away until one of us gives up. So we'll do that, then we'll take it all down, then start putting it back together. We'll probably tomorrow, uh, well in the next episode, when we pressure wash this, we'll probably pressure wash the rest of this just to get all of this grime off, to get it ready, because while it's apart, we might as well paint the frame. It, it'll just look a lot better. It'll be way easier to do it with the engine out and give us a good chance to clean everything up really, really good. Guys, I want to thank you for watching yet another episode of Motorcycle Rewind. And do me a favor, like, tag, share, and follow us on Instagram at Motorcycle Rewind. And go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And thanks again, guys, and have a great day.